What is going on guys? It is Ty the Jeep Guy. We are out here with Black Hills Jeeps, a couple of the members. Uh, we're doing our February club run. Uh, we're just going to go putt out uh, around the Piedmont Fire Trail and see what we can't find. We just got a bunch of snow and the temperature's starting to break. So we're going to go out and see what we can't find. So I'll catch you on the trail. Try that. Just a baby bump. You know, like three months pregnant bump. There. with this engine and a choice of two or four doors and two shift on the fly four-wheel drive system you could say nothing's in Cherokee's class
just hit our, our camp spot for the evening. Uh, sun's getting ready to set. I got about an hour and a half left. Uh, so I'm gonna get camp set up and I'm gonna go over today. Uh, a lot of fun stuff happened. Got out with the club, stopped for a brew, and uh, now we're here at one of the new camp spots. I've been scoping out for a little while now and I'm gonna give some cold weather camping a shot. Uh, right now it's 33 degrees. Tonight's low is supposed to be around 20, 19 to 20 in the area I'm at. Um, I've got some really cool old school vintage gear that I've been using and one new one that I want to give a shot or new to me. So I'm going to set camp up and then uh, we'll watch the sunset together and I will talk about the day. So give me a second and I'll get it all set up. It's gonna get cold tonight, and I figure this would be a great chance to test my, uh, I think this is 1983 Coleman um, white gas heater. Sorry for the wind. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to light. Let's see, I don't remember where I put my matches or anything, but let's get this guy up. Where did I put my matches? Oh, they're in my pocket. So it's already filled up. I have some white gas here. All I'm gonna do is just kind of douse the top. It is a pretty big flame, so I'm just making sure I'm in the open. Maybe, there we go. All right. So now, all okay, right. So there it goes. So pretty much I'm going to let this burn until it's a catalytic heater. So what it's doing is it's going to burn for a minute. Then once it starts drawing fuel, I'll be able to use it. So I'm going to let that go. Now that I've got my tent set up, I got my bed set up, uh, I got my little Coleman heater going, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make some dinner and I think enjoy the sunset. Um, overall, it was a really fun day. I got out with the club, we went and ran a couple different trails and had a good time overall. Uh, tomorrow I plan to get out, run some more trails, might go out to Ditch Creek. It's supposed to be really nice, it's going to be in the 50s. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to get out, do some hiking, uh, going to be one of the first nice days in a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and start on some dinner and probably just going to read a book. So um, I'll watch the sunset with you guys and then I'll catch you in the morning. late I'm getting a much later start to the day than I wanted um, it was really comfy until I turned the heater down at like 2 in the morning next thing you know I'm like freezing uh, I got down to like 17 degrees and I was I was wondering why I was so cold and I checked and the heater turned off that thing's kind of a pain to restart so I just figured I'd tough it out I was freezing cold, <laughs> so I didn't get much sleep. I ended up sleeping in instead because now it's like 40 and it feels great. And the tent, I mean, for the most part, like I was freezing, but the, I was warm, kind of, you know, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I don't think I'm going to make breakfast. I'm still full from last night. <sighs> I'm going to clean up camp and 
We'll go hit some trails, and then I'm going to do some hiking. It's beautiful. I want to end up in the Southern Hills uh, just because the Southern Hills is one of my favorite spots, and lately I've been spending a lot of time in the Mystic Ranger District in the Northern Hills. So we're going to head down to Hell Canyon Ranger District, check out some trails, do some hiking. Just have an overall decent day off. So I'm going to clean up camp, and I'll check back with you guys once camp's cleaned up. Right now, we're in the Mystic Ranger District. Um, I got done eating breakfast and decided I kind of just wanted to explore. I had a game plan of going out to Ditch Creek, which I still plan to do, um, but I just want to go see what I can't find. You know, we go down the same five to eight trails here in the hills uh, when it comes to difficult rock crawling routes, and I wish there were more trails to do uh, when it comes to like moderate difficulty. You know, not everybody's looking to try and break their rig every weekend. And I understand, you know, if you want to do more, you got to build your rig more, but I'm happy. I'm happy where my Jeep's at. You know, it does really well on the trails I do take, like Iceman and Jake um, and things like that, but I don't want to build it up any bigger because at that point it turns into a rock crawler and not the rig that I use to go camping and exploring. So I'm going to try and get out and see if I can't find any more trails that would be worth exploring and something that's worth putting it into four low. So we're going to get out, see what we can't find in this little ranger district here. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, I tried to position you so you're out of the wind. I think I'm gonna call this video here. Um, I know I said I was gonna try and make it out to Ditch Creek, but a part of being a responsible four-wheeler is knowing when to turn around. And unfortunately, this road isn't a very traveled road and the snow drifts are getting deeper and deeper. Right now, it doesn't look bad because I stopped at the point with the most traction. That way I could get around, turn around and head back. But I'm starting to see the trees get smaller and smaller and I don't think any of them would be able to support the weight of the vehicle if I had to winch. Plus, it's about two hours and the sun's gonna go down. I still have about two hours till I get back to any main roads. So, I think I'm making the decision to call it here. Now, we did have an awesome weekend. We found some rocks with our friends with Black Hills Jeeps. We got to do some cold weather camping and I froze my butt off. We found some snow, we found some mud. Overall, it was a great weekend and I could not ask for more. Next video, I am gonna do something talk about a little bit of a controversial subject and I'm gonna give you guys a lot of tips and tricks to help you find trails. Now, I'm also going to give you some tips on how to help keep our four-wheel drive trails open and how we might be able to save one in particular. So I hope to catch you in the next video. Keep on jeeping on, guys. The thrill of the wild. One vehicle captures that feeling with the strength and agility to master most any terrain. Nothing stands in its way. Jeep like nothing you've ever driven. There's a feeling you can get.